Hi there, Steve again. Uh, right now we're going to take a look at our Bobcat 750, which is going to be coupled to a mill head. This particular machine is going to be needed to run a mill head because it's got high flow hydraulics. You'll know that because you've got several hydraulic hookups, not just two, because you have to have one for a case drain. Uh, a couple other features of a skid steer that make it ideal for running a mill head is an enclosed cab to keep you out of the dust because the more that you can stay out of the dust, the better it is for you rather than having to use a respirator or anything else. In addition to that, this machine is equipped with water tanks with a hookup which is going to go on to our mill head. <clears throat> They're quick detached tanks. This is one of them and the other one's right here and they come off easily if you're not going to use them because they stick out and they're not really uh, in the operator's line of view and they could easily get ruined. So if you're not going to mill, you pull this pin and you take them off. Easy as that. But for our application, we definitely want them on there. Got a filler here and there. This is the water pump here that's going to supply the water to our mill. And this is a filter. Wouldn't be a bad idea beginning of every day before you start running. Pull that off, make sure there's nothing in there because these water tanks will develop algae in them and that'll plug your screen. Or if it gets past the screen, it'll plug your nozzles. And then your water system is virtually useless. Before I get in the machine to pull ahead to attach it, I'm going to make sure that there's nothing in my coupling zone, in my coupler. Make sure that's nice and clean. Uh, you can tell that uh, this is where it seats and then there's locks on the bottom of the machine end that pin down inside of here and that is what locks the machine to the attachment. So now I think I'll get in the machine and we'll pull ahead and couple. You need to have your lap bar down and then you have to press your buttons to activate your hydraulic controls. So we'll pull ahead. Another feature of this particular machine with the glass door, if the door's not locked all the way, it won't allow you to raise your arms because you'll rip the door right off. So we're going to pull in to our attachment. Make sure that our top ears are within the coupler and then lift straight up, roll it back. Now I'm going to press our lock button and you'll see the two levers that are attached to the cylinder go down. That means that our machine our attachment is a hook to our machine and we'll do a quick test of that. We'll lower it down and roll out. Raises the front of the machine. That means that we're attached securely. As I said before, you're going to have three hydraulic lines in a high flow machine. One is going to be pressure, one is going to be your return, and then another one is going to be case drain, which is any excess oil that's not actually being used, returning back to the system. And then we've got an electric plug, which is for whatever, it's attached to your cylinders here for whichever accessory may be on this particular mill head. Um, not only are, do we have these, but we do have a quick cam lock for our water system. So your water system is simple as that. I'm going to save this to last because sometimes the hydraulic couplers 
take a little bit of effort and I don't want something in my way while I'm wrestling with them. And again, as with any other machine, you want to make sure that the way that your hydraulic hoses hang makes sense. You know, this, this is a lot more natural than having all kinds of curly cues in your hose that are going to limit your range of motion. I typically like to start with the lowest one, that way you're not working your way down and then you have to work with the rest of them in your way. These are quick connects and this small divot right here is what you need to realign with a pin when you want to disconnect them. It shouldn't matter when you're hooking them up. This machine and almost all machines that have quick connects on them, they try to make it foolproof. Here you have two males, but they're different sizes. So you, it's impossible to hook it up incorrectly. You can not have your couplers on far enough where you're not going to flow the oil, but it's impossible for you to put this female onto that male coupler. I'm fortunate I have help, but if you're in the field, you're probably not gonna have help. So you're gonna wrestle with these by yourself. Three hydraulic lines are on. We're going to put our electrical line on. This connector is not a, it's not a full threaded connector where you're gonna turn it three times. You have just have to turn it about a quarter of a turn and then it clicks and then it's attached. I would say that's tight. We're gonna hook up our water line. Now we're ready to make sure that our attachment actually works. 